Yo, what's up guys, it's Breadcrumb Series coming after another video, and today we are going to be doing another mod showcase, I've been doing a lot of Minecraft lately, but this is going to be on the Rival Rebels mod, link will be down in the description as always, and I do have a special guest with me. Hello, I'm that Mr. Guy on YouTube, haven't started my YouTube channel yet, but I'm hoping to start it soon. So yeah, I'll be um, with Breadcrumb Studios in this video today. Yeah, so let's get on with it, so let's just open up that, and we're going to just start out with all this basic... There's all this uh -huh. stuff, which is just, that's basic. That's not basic, but it's it kinda, there's a ton. It's kind of scary. And yeah, so first off, we're gonna start with like the most basic, basic. And also, guys, I am not gonna do crafting recipes just because it would take forever. As you guys can see, there is a ton of crap. If I go to the actually the, oh, oops, um, the little mod thing, there's a ton of stuff. If you guys want me to cover more of all this stuff, um, Wait. leave it down in the comments there's section below. There's hacker pants. What do those do? I do not know. Hacker, hacker pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> I got me with my hacker boots and ready to go the first day of school. Okay, so basically, first off is the jump block. It's sort of like a trampoline, so you just kind of land on it. And also, if you get like four of them together and you jump in the center, you actually go extremely high. And then and also, so yeah. And if I go in between just two, you kind of go, you go pretty high still. It will kill you no matter what. So now. Let's get that. Out of the, let's move that. Next is the Mario trap, I guess it's called. And I'm actually gonna grab some of this. Oh, stacking up blocks. You know how ugly that looks. Look. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. So you. Just, uh, let's get a little bit higher. Okay. Now, so you just place this below something. It falls down, and then this happens, and then you fall, and gravel and stuff goes. And also, this does not. It turns into like fake grass it's called Mario and yeah so I'm just gonna actually place it down it actually makes a stone noise as you guys can see if you guys can hear that stone let me actually see if I my oh, volume turned down just for a second yeah okay so um, wait now. so does that have to be over a hole or will it make a hole it, it just makes a hole oh, okay okay so now is this thing which I'll actually do later um this is the quicksand trap I actually haven't tried most of these so yeah, oh, oh you're gonna this, that's what happens, and most, and probably most of the time, there, you'll there probably be a couple more layers so that way you'll like, drown in quicksand. Ooh. So yeah, that won't be too fun, and also it turns all the blocks around it to quicksand. So let's get this out of the way. Ah, whatever. Actually, no, not whatever. Um, ah, come on. Oh, you fell in your own trap. That that's not good. No, it's not. Oh. There's a lot of traps. Why do you keep placing down Mario grass? Because. Does it make you fall? Yes. It does not. <laughs> you watch. Mario. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you're falling as you're placing it. and. Watch. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you're, not, you're not funny. I'm not, I'm not helping? <laughs> not at all. Anyway, um, let's get, let's get grass. Let's place this around here move over there and f so n we got the quicksand trap out of the way um we're gonna go with the landmine trap oh it does it blow up and oh and it blows up ain't that nice okay now we're it's okay so we got the landmine trap now we got the barricade which i'm actually not sure what th it does so let's place up a few grass blocks we'll make like a wall i'm not sure oh, oh makes this ooh this is kind of what I actually want to talk about next. These are called ADSs, which is called, which stands for Advanced Defense System. And yeah, this is like a little barricade, I guess. Now we're on to the Bastion. Bastion. Which, okay, so um, basically, I'm gonna show you what to do with all these stuff, all the stuff. And actually, we're gonna need one more piece of equipment from this menu. Where is it? Where? What are where? you looking for, bud? Um, I forget what's called, but something. That's all I know. Something. Yeah. Hacker some pants? Not hacker pants. For first day of school. <laughs> <laughs> not hacker pants. Uh, oh, this. We're oh. gonna get just this. Omega objective. Okay, we're not gonna place it down just yet. So, um, we're gonna go a little bit over here. We're actually gonna surround this village with this. So let's come up. Let's get this right here. And then we're gonna drop this. And it makes this huge. Hey. It makes this huge thing. That you actually can't break the blocks even in creative, so it kind of sucks. You can actually. Wait, wait, why is it going darker? Wait, can you punch punch it a bunch? Will it make a hole? 
Punch the same one. Oh, oh. So, so it just takes a lot, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so, whatever. Um, then this stuff can be breaking one hit, as you can see. So just take that back. Eh, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna f get this one right here. We got the. I think we have to get four on each side. Oh, shiz. Oh, you're stuck. I am not. Click away. Click like you've never. Cl oh, there you go. There we go. Um, okay, so there we go. And now we are gonna. Actually, just for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna do anything too special. Um, where's the emitter? Then you get the emitter, you place this right here. Oh. Makes a little wall. Oh, wait, so does it. And so, makes, oh, you can't go through it. That, you can, oh. but I need uh, another one. So I think, actually. Actu okay, I think we need it to line up, honestly. Okay, so. Uh, Bastion? Okay. I think we actually might have to reset this one, but anyway. This is fancy. I know, right? Now, this. This is in the way. I'll just. Oh. Let's just place this behind it. Um, so. But doesn't it have to be exact? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go like that. And straight ahead. There you go. Okay. Now we place four of these. And then we do that. As always. And you do. Oh, she has helmet. Sorry, you're stuck. stuck. <laughs> it's like, no, not this again. Okay, so now we do that, mm. and then we do. So you have this, to like link all of them together. That oh gosh, <laughs> bounces you back pretty far. Anyway, um, so let's see. Oh poo, those ones aren't lined up. Oh wait, there we go. Now in the center, you sh place this thing right here. Oh, and then you place. I think you do something like. Um, one second. I think you get a nuclear top, if I'm not mistaken. Either supply crate, I think it's supplies, maybe. So you go like, like this and this. Then you grab a some pliers. Always need your pliers. Yeah. Very important in this mod. Uh, oh, Takamak. What is this? What is this? Oh, oh, there we go. Yep, I was right. And. Okay, uh, let's wait for that to get out of the way. And then you um, just, I th think you have to place it right next to it, honestly. So, reset that. Oh. So, let's go like that. Construct it with your little ply. I don't know how hitting it with a piece of plier helps. I'm right clicking. So. Oh, so in real life, if you just right click with a plier, it's going to build that? Yeah. Oh. I think okay. you just do that. No. Okay. Um, poop. Um. Okay, now let's see. Let's see if what happens when you put loaders, because that does something. And now we grab a bunch. We're actually gonna go load that three. Oops. We're gonna go to this. Put all this. I'll show you guys all this in a minute. But we're gonna grab a bunch of these hydrogen things. Models on this actually look really good too. So let's put this right here. Is it nuclear? Huh. On second, guys, I'm actually gonna study this really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I figured it out. Um, now, so basically, what you do, I need a core. So I'm actually gonna get the most advanced core. So whatever. the reactor core is a, is something. So you grab this, you grab your redstone thing, and then you hit the power button. Redstone rod. Oh. That makes a force field around where it can actually reach. What happens if you go through it? And oh. then you can't really pass through it, so... Yeah. It's kind of awkward the way it's set up, but... It works, so... Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're actually just going to disable this, because it's kind of annoying. Will that last forever? Do you need to, like, recharge it with a new core or something? I don't know, so... Whatever. Well, and fine. <laughs> so, I think... Let's get to the flare, the ADS... And we're gonna need that, and this, and this, and also the loaders can you be used to power it for external. Like it does run out actually, but like what Carson said, so you can just 
add it like that, and it can power it. Oh shiz. So let's grab you that. You broke a block. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, um, so we're gonna put this right here. Oh. And also, I'm actually just gonna show you the flare really quick, which is pretty cool. So you place it down, it kind of just starts shooting up stuff to let your teammates know you're in trouble. You break it, it explodes. So, yeah, that's fun. That's And then you So, with this little dude right here, let's right click him. We're gonna give him a full 360 degrees of radius so we can look in all directions. Um, he's gonna need some fuel. I think that's where this is. Right? We're actually just gonna do that. Might as well this. And we're actually gonna need some batteries, which I forgot. Um, so you press escape to um, exit that, and where's, where's the battery? There we go. And grab that. Also battery. Yep. Also battery. Oh and wait, does it need rockets or fuel? It actually needs just this chip, and then oh. two weapon crates, and dragon, and then oh. it is a flamethrower. So that's fancy. So if I actually awesome. go into survival, I'll show you this. Let's see if it actually fires at me. Hey, oh, it's because you made it. Maybe. Huh. Oh. I don't know how to stream. Can you, like, oh, spawn yeah. a pig? Yeah. But actually, guys, my Minecraft does really, really lag against when it sees mobs, so I'm just going to try to look away. It's kind of really lags. So, yeah, as you can see right there. Not really sure. I'm not sure what it is, but. And yeah, it doesn't attack mobs. Well, wait, is it hostile to them? There we go. What's this do? Uh, something. I'm actually not sure. So. Mind if we spawn this little dude? Ah! Like, up here. I'm actually not sure. Just take my word for it. Um, That's what it does. It's pretty cool. So if you're on a multiplayer server and you want to verse your friends, just set this up and it'll be really, really handy. And yeah, let's get on to this part. Actually, we're going to save this part for last because it's very, very destructive. Very destructive. Yep. And next are the weapons, which are which the models look amazing. Honestly, this is my favorite. Carson's favorite, I'm pretty sure, is this art. I like burning things. Yes, he likes burning things. And this is, so I'm going to show you every single model. This is the Tesla, the flamethrower, the plasma cannon, the Instin, the Einstein. Einstein, whatever you want to call it, the rod disc, the M202RR, the chuchilla, chinchilla, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and the gas grenade, and then some pills. Oh. Yes. Can you overdose? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so the Tesla just basically shocks things. He's the pigs. Yeah, insta yeah. insta kills crap. We're like, going to insta kill all these villagers. Ah, the lag. Yep. It just, it's just ugly. The good thing is, it does um, actually take things from a radius, so you don't even have to directly look at it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Next is the flamethrower. Would you do the honors, cars? I or will do Mr. the honors. Wait, you gotta go towards the trees. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it down. <laughs> so that Burn is. Burn it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, this is my favorite. <laughs> That's definitely his favorite. Um, next is the plasma cannon, which kind of. I I think you need a direct hit, but it kind of just does that. Oh, it's, fancy. it's very, very weak. You kind of just use the push mods back if you get it at the right angle. So get it right there. Oh. You have to get at the right angle. You Good can do some cool stuff. And next is this, which is like a freaking machine gun. Which does kills. And I'm lagging. Oh, I can't really demonstrate on mobs, but you get the picture. Next is the rod disc, kind of hold this down and it shoots out, and it comes back to you. Can you chop down trees? Then you can right click it once it's coming down, and then it, when it's coming back to you, and it will, you can get it back. So, I'm not sure if you can chop down trees with this. Let's try. Oh. Nope. Can you kill animals it. with it? Yeah, that's what it's kind of used for. Let's try this. Yeah. Let's see if we can deal with the light. <laughs> come on. There we go. Huh, never mind. I guess it's just used for stuff or hurting players or something. Next is this one, which is very explosive. You just yeah, kind of you just hold this down. You just kind of press it a bunch. You kind of spam it if you want to, and then it actually just instead of exploding, it kind of just moves blocks. So it's not too big of an explosion. So yeah. So do it one more time. Next is the this, which is a throwing knife. Basically, you just kind of hold it down and. Pew. Oh, got stuck in the tree. That's cool. And then it's sticking to the wood. There we go. 
And next is the gas grenade, which honestly I have not tried. So, I was, I was oh. doing this early. That's when I was like, I went into the dust. I messed him up. There we go. You get, you get a bunch of bad effects. Oh. You get slowness, poison, nausea, and blindness. So Throw it at the pig. That's not a good one. Just or, throw it around him. Yeah, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's running away. Well, yeah. Next are the pills, which I'm actually gonna go in the survival for. So I'm actually gonna get up kind of high and and get hurt. Next, you go take a pill and you regenerate all your health. It's really cool. Next is the thing. So yeah, and then you do the experimental pill and it, it's a success. So it gives you. It so, can either give you a bunch of really good ones or a bunch of really bad ones. So how yeah. long do they stay? Not too long, but oh. it gives you like speed, like like probably not too many. Oh, so this is kind of like a like a like a fifty fifty god apple. Yeah, something Think like about that. It. So next, let's have another one. This is the bad one, which gives you like weakness, slowness, binding fatigue, nausea, and blindness, all that uh, crap. Binding fatigue is annoying. So is nausea. Anyway, so let's get some milk. Milk is yummy. Oh. Got an infinite number of milk, I'm pretty sure. That is pretty. There we go. Um, but anyway, so now I'm pretty sure that's it for this section. Now we get to blow things up! Yay! Okay, so first off, we're actually going to use this thing, which what you do is you place down the laptop. You do this, I guess. So you do that. You do that. Nuke bottom and nuke top. Wait, do, oh, come on. You do this, you do a plastic explosive, you get some of these hydrogen rods, and some of these nuclear rods. Oh, this is, this looks fun. And then you need some chips, so I'm actually going to get this. Can you just I'm actually going to get a few more chips, chips, so, chip, let's grab that. Oh, we need three more. Oh, got a little too many. Anyway, so let's just put those in. And then we have, then we have some, okay, now we have some ammo, I'm pretty sure. Now I think we can use this, so you kind of hold it down, it's a tactical nuke, and then you, I think you do that. What do you do again? Oh, no. well, it's out of range. It's out of range, and it's like 10. No, no, what's this? What, what, just out of range. You have to stand like on the laptop or something. Oh, what, no, oh, like right now you can do it, right there. What do you do? Oh. It's, it, it can't say no, And or, then there it is. Oh, gosh, that's the terrifying. The stealth bomber, and it drops this thing in. Ooh. And oh. I died. Um, one second. You have been dematerialized. So let's go in creative. Um, that is a new meaning to just dying. Okay, there it is. Oh. Jeez. Put a lot of explosives in that. Crap, did you lose all your stuffs? I can get it back, it's fine. Don't worry about that. And it just basically makes a crater that is awesome. Some cobblestone. What's this? It's all, is that radiation? Yeah, this is all radiation. So if I go into survival. I'm going to die, fella. As you can see, as I walk in it, it kind of. I'm on peaceful, so it kind of regens health really quick. But it just hurts you. So not too fast, but yeah. So let's go back into creative. And now let's grab this grab this again and now we are getting on to the plastic explosives otherwise known as c4 or something so you kind of just place this all down so let's place actually a bunch it's not, let's go all out yeah just for now then we'll sh i'll show you guys what it looks like with one then you press then i think you oh no i saw i saw oh oh there we go and then it all detonates oh wait so can you do it from any distance or do you need to be right near I am not sure. Let me see. Um, let's get one of those. Um, what's it called? Plastic. Plastic explosive. Okay, so let's plant a then, one. Let's place like. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, just place one down. So place one. And then walk away. Then shift. Shift. No, I am shift. Oh, I don't know. So wait, I, wait. Go use the pliers on it. Oh, that's diffusing it. Oh, I see. So you can get it back. Sweet. That's cool. And yeah, so that's the plastic explosives. Now, on to the nukes. So I'm pretty sure there's only two types of nukes. The first one is this. 
type right here. That's just a regular old Hiroshima Nagasaki nuke. I guess that's what's called. Um, I don't know. I just that's I don't know. I'm not sure if this works. Boom, 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 boom. But and then there's this nuke right here, which is Sarbamba or Sarbama or whatever you want to call it. This thing. So we we're actually gonna detonate these both. First, we're gonna detonate the small one. So let's break this one. And so we just right click it, you know, right with pliers, right click with pliers. Then you just use a bunch of nuclear um, rods, yeah. And then you can get um, a bunch, a bunch of megatons. Um, so let's get that. So we get 25 megatons. Let's get another chip. Let's grab another one of these. And let's grab another fuse. And then we just you bail. You, you run as fast as you can. You get a 25 second countdown. So if you want to detonate you these know, things in a survival, put you down can. your lawn chair, some sunglasses, and sit back and watch the show. It will give you a notification when there's 10 seconds. Beep. And it'll make a little beeping. And then the nuclear explosion is very, very cool. Is it loud? Like, you're like, oh. Oh, it sucks in every single mob. That's cool. So, well, get, get, just get a good view of it. Like, look oh, at look that. at that. Let's see what's going in. Beautiful. I oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive. Anyway, but it's cool, really, and plus it does not lag your game because it actually um when it does it kind of slowly takes away blocks over the course of the explosion. So so it's yeah. not just doing it at one time, overriding your computer and stuff like that. <laughs> so, all that crap. And yeah, so that's this one, which compared to the other one. I mean, this is this is nice, I guess. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Let's go blow up the village with the big one. Oh yeah, let's do that. Um, so let's see. Villagers are gonna die tonight. Fight me. Okay, so yo, it's making all the like grass brown around it. Mhm. Mm it's crazy. And probably filled with radiation. So let's get Sarbamba right here. And let's go like that. Oh, so pliers, man. Oh, oops. Um. Bam. Okay, so it's actually. Oh, this one is different from the other one because I guess it uses hydrogen yeah, bombs. Yeah, uses hydrogen for the explosion. Plus nuclear. Yeah. So we're gonna get a few more nuclear rods. Actually, we're gonna have to. Uh, load two. There we go. Let's grab all this. Ooh. So let's put the time bomb two antennas. It's 50 megatons, which is insane. Take one out, it's unbalanced. Um, but you need to put the chip in, and then find, last but certainly not least, the fuse. And let's sit back and watch the show. Get, get farther back, man. Let's get right here. Oh yeah, that that is nice. Let's get right here. Sit back and watch the show. Let's see how this is gonna go. It might reach that jungle over there. I'm not actually for certain how big like the, the radiation is. will, but like the explosion, I don't know. The crater, I don't think is too. I don't think it's that big. Ooh. It's just what. Oh, oh, where'd it go? Oh, um, where are we? What is? Whoa! Oh, hey. snap! It blew up my my spot. Oh, look, look up! Oh, yeah. look at that! Look at that beauty! Look at that beauty! That's nice. Oh, go inside. Oh, go inside. <laughs> Team Sigma. What? What the frick? I'm so confused, guys. I honestly do not know. Oh, oh, oh. It's because you blew up that um, the base. That green thing. Yeah. I was so confused. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, so. There's the crater. I'll, sh I'll just show you guys a little comparison. Yeah. Okay, so. This is. This is. Oh, it almost reached the jungle. Oh, yeah. Like the crater. The crater. Oh gosh. Check Dang. this out. Dang. Oh, so just go. No, we're not ready for battle. Sorry, that's what this mod does. It's kind of a multiplayer mod, but. Like if you're running a server, it's gonna be a really fun mod. Even if you're playing alone, it's gonna be a really fun mod. So. To blow things up. Kaboom. Right. Just, just go in the middle and like act like you're in like an opera theater with like billions of people. <laughs> Let's go. So. This is my time to shine. Do 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 do. Go on F5 and do a little dance for us. 
Uh, 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 uh. I'm a bear. Look at that. that I'm is. a bear. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, so let's get a comparison on the craters. So this yeah. one is. Look at that. Oh, and it and it and it chars that, trees guys. and. Um, yeah, it actually chars the wood on trees. I'll show you guys in a minute. And if you're playing in survival and you go in there, you're gonna die. Yeah. So just look at the comparison. So okay, so this one freaking dwarfs the size of this. Yeah, that's that's like Pluto, and then this is like Jupiter. Maybe not that. Okay, well, well, what? I know what you mean. You just be quiet. <laughs> anyway, so all this ground is contaminated. Oh, here's the trees. Charred. It's petrified wood. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys. Um, yeah. That's it for this. Actually, this part of the mod. Sorry about that. Um, this is actually, that's actually about it for this part of the mod. If you guys want to see the multiplayer side of it, things, and how you can make a good base and all that stuff. Be sure to leave a like and leave a comment saying that you do. And yeah, so as always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And be sure to subscribe. I actually hit 77 subscribers. 75 is a milestone, so congratulations just to just keep, that. Just keep on subbing. Keep yeah. on subbing. Keep, keep on, on subbing. Something. Well, anyway, so guys, that is it for this video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, do not forget to um, have a nice day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.